Well, this is it. Uh, the historic 100th episode of my Proven Sales Letter Breakdown Challenge. And boy, what a journey it has been. So uh, as part of doing this video, before actually doing it, I wanted to take the time to dress up nicely, have a glass of champagne here, and just, uh, uh, you know, raise my glass to everything that has happened over these past past 100 days. Thank you so much for following me throughout this challenge. If you've been following, if not, this is your first video, then definitely make sure to check out the other videos as well. I'm going to leave a link to the entire playlist below this video. Uh, and then subscribe to the channel as well, because I still have plenty of great content coming for you in the near future. Uh, but with this one, I'm going to wrap up this 100 day challenge during which I broke down 100 videos in well, more than 100 days, but it was quite quite, uh, quite a journey. And for that, I raise my glass to you, the reader, as well. Thank you so much for following me and uh, cheers. All right, cool. And uh, with that being said, actually, today I have a cool promotion for you from Gary Halbert. And I was thinking a lot about who to actually uh break down first okay so who should be uh the uh the the correct uh copywriter to serve as the 100th guest on this on on this challenge and originally i wanted to i was thinking about a few things maybe gary ben Savenga has like a world famous world famous super long sales page it's like 70 pages long uh and then i was also thinking uh, about uh, a sales page that roy fur did uh for the titans of direct response if you have anything to do with copywriting and you're quite familiar with it uh then you've probably heard about the titans response event uh titans of direct response event before but finally as i was scrolling through certain uh, swipe files you know i stumbled across an ad written by gary halbert and after reading it uh i i just felt like i have to cover this one because i think it, it encapsulates many of the of the of the most crucial things about copywriting in a in a short package okay it's a relatively short package but it has pretty much everything that's needed and that really showcases what great direct response copywriting really really looks like plus it's kind of uh, kind of symbolic because i started out with gary uh breaking down gary's copy and uh, I wanted to finish it with Gary Halbert as well. Um, I, I wasn't really expecting to uh, develop such a liking to Gary Halbert's copy. Obviously, I read several of these before, uh, but I, I don't know. It just it just connected with me. Uh, his style definitely connected with me a lot. Uh, and uh, after reading this, I, I once again I got reminded by how powerful Gary's style really is. So it's actually uh, a weight loss offer. And it starts the most powerful lessons from this video. I'm going to give it to you right off the bat. It's that it's a great example of how uh, being vulnerable, using a powerful story, uh, just sharing everything, all the vivid details, how your life was miserable, uh, and then how you found a solution. And now you're packaging up that solution as a user friendly proposition. Uh, that's the basis for for your entire message in in most cases and i think this one uses this really really well plus as we go through it and i'm probably gonna read the entire thing because it's i i just like it okay i just like it uh, and you'll see how and why it's so approachable and friendly and relatable especially for the target audience who's probably morbidly overweight uh or maybe not even morbidly overweight but they struggle with weight problems uh and just see how how um non corporate -y this is okay it's really is like a message from a friend here okay so if you enjoy uh these types of things and everything then i think that you're gonna love this video as well uh and um uh, Let's just jump into it. So the headline complex, there's a pre-head and a headline. So the pre-head says, read this if you are truly serious about losing weight. So I like how there's a subtle NLP, Neuro Linguistic Command, Neuro Linguistic Programming Command in the beginning, read this. And then we have an if-then type of thing. And we'll, we'll notice these if-then type of, of, of formulas later as well. They're kind of like the go-to when it comes to like uh, starting a message. So read this if you're truly serious about losing weight. Uh, 
the, the to truly is very important here because this assumes that uh, the people who this is going out to, they've tried several versions of this before. They've tried uh, some some potential solutions to their problem, but they were not successful. And this one, I mean, this one is kind of, it, it assumes that this is the real deal. And then the headline says, high school student loses almost 600 pounds and now devotes his life to helping others get skinny. So what's happening here? High school student, that's specific, loses 600 pounds, that's like a tease to an incredible story, and now devotes his life to helping others get stinny. So there's the assumption that there's a purpose motive here, and we've seen how powerful purpose motives are. So people, basically, they have a purpose of doing something, uh, and um, uh, helping others get silly, uh, <laughs> silly skinny. Uh, this is the implicit promise for the reader itself okay so uh basically after reading this and obviously you you're going to notice this almost immediately and we're going to get to it in a second but uh like a picture is worth a thousand words here like you immediately get what this whole thing is about like it's some type of secret that someone discovered and now it can help you get skinny uh, and it gets your attention, right? That's the aim of a headline. So uh, this this one actually is is is, is a space ad. Um, so uh, there were space constraints here as well, and there were a few places where I think that nowadays uh, the sales page could use some uh, improvement. But the reason why probably that wasn't included back then is because Gary had to work with space constraints here. So let's just see how the lead goes. Uh, some good champagne here, uh, and it's a it's a problem solution lead, which means that um, we uh, mention the problem, and then eventually we're going to like uh, promise the uh, solution to it as well, and then we start expanding the problem before giving them the real solution. So it starts like this: Dear friend, if you have a weight problem, I want you to take a good look at the picture on this page. Okay, did you do it? So at this point, uh, the lead kind of instructs people to do something, or almost immediately. It instructs them to read this little thing here. And uh, I think this is a micro-commitment. So uh, this, this is, as I said, a great example of a picture is worth a thousand words. That's one of the things, like transformational st stories. You always need transformational stories when selling a weight loss offer effectively. Obviously, on, on Facebook, you cannot reuse really them because they're not compliant anymore. But using something like this, it just immediately makes people get it, right? Uh, but another advanced thing that's happening is that we're instructing people to do something. We're giving them uh, a micro-commitment. If they do this, they're going to be much more likely to heed our call later as well when we instruct them to buy the product itself. And notice that the first uh, line of the lead itself, it's kind of an if-then type of thing, just like here uh, at the top. If you have a weight problem, I want you to take a good look at a picture. And then what's happening in the picture? Well, we see a problem, like the current situation of this, this person who we don't know yet. We just see 750 pounds, I wanted to die. And then 175 pounds, I've changed my life. So, boom, what a nice... Uh, transformation here, right? And uh, we get basically a very brief overview of what this whole thing is about. This is something that my mentor Kevin Rogers would, would, would call 60 second sales hook. He has a free book on the topic and it's basically like, hey, this is who I am, this is what I've been struggling with, this is what I discovered, and here are the results now. So it's kind of like a mini story here to give people an immediate overview of what's going to happen here. And it says, uh, Miserable at 750 pounds, Larry Coker's life was awful. He was so heavy he had to help. Uh, he had to help to have help from several members of his family just to get out of bed. Then he discovered. So this, know this. This is the current situation, and then we always have to have like what he discovered. Then he discovered the amazing weight loss system described in this article, and he lost a stupendous 575 pounds in 15 months. So there's the specific promise here. His physician, Dr. Philip Newman, confirmed the 8'7 Royal Oak, Michigan man had been grossly obese and that 
Uh, last July, he weighed 175 pounds and looked great. His story, as revealed on this page, will serve as an inspiration to anyone who has ever suffered from weight loss problem and feelings of hopelessness. So this, I think, it, 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 it forms a part of the lead itself, right? It gives you the promise. It gives you something to care about. So if you read the, the rest of it, it assumes that you're going to discover the secret, how he actually did it, right? Because you want to know. It's an incredible type of, of, of thing here. Sorry about the bad quality text here, guys. Uh, like, I tried searching for other versions of this, but this is the one I could find. Uh, and uh, it, since we have to zoom in a little bit, uh, I mean, the text gets pixelated a little bit. So then here at the bottom, we have these are actual untouched uh, photos, unretouched photos. So this is an objection handling element here because like some people might say, yeah, but maybe this is photoshopped or something. Well, by the way, keep in mind that uh, we are talking 1990, so there was no Photoshop yet. Um, so the text says, they show Larry Coker at his high school's graduation when he was so heavy, he uh, wouldn't even let his picture go in the class yearbook. But now, thanks to this amazing weight loss system called Larry's Way, the only use he has for his formal size 74 pants is to remind him how far he has come and how much weight he has shed. So there you have it, like an, like an incredible transformation story, right? And basically every single conversation context involves uh, uh, a transformation story because that's what's happening. It's just your copy, your marketing, your product is the one that helps the reader transform himself or herself um, into their new reality, right? This is the old reality. This is the new reality. Uh, and this is incredibly important. Again, some like a, a crucial copywriting and, and not just copywriting, marketing or persuasion lesson here. Uh, you are the agent of change. Uh, people don't buy your product. People buy the change that your product is offering here. And I think this lead already does a great job at highlighting this. So then let's just jump back into the main uh, sales letter itself. Uh, and Gary even asks, okay, did you do it? Did you take a good look at those amazing pictures? And at this point, probably many of the readers will say, yes, I did. Uh, and there you have it, you have the micro commitment. So then we continue. What they show is a young man, me, whose life was once a nightmare. Maybe you saw my story on CBS Live or Good Morning America, or maybe you read about me in Detroit Free Press, the Oklahoma Daily Tribune, or even the National Enquirer. So what's happening here? Well, authority buildup, proof elements. Is that, oh, wow, this guy's famous, this story, I must have missed it. Or even like if, if the specific reader has seen this story, they're like, oh yeah, I remember this guy. Wow, what an interesting story. So then we continue. Believe me, if you want to lose weight, I can tell you exactly how to do it. Here's the promise. Without hunger, without pills, without low energy, without giving up good food. Here's like the even if part so that we make it more interesting. And then we have uh, basically uh, a promise that this is fast as well. Because Gary Halbert says, and best of all, I can show you how to do it fast, very fast, without spending hardly any money. So people want, remember, people always want quick solutions, painless solutions, cheap solutions. They want the easy way always, if it's possible. Uh, and uh, they're craving that. So by promising this, uh, I mean, it's an incredible promise, but we're going to follow up with proof. And, and this guy, that's, that's, that's the reason why Gary was able to get away with this is because he had a built-in very strong proof element. And we're going to capitalize on this later as well. For example, in this subhead by saying how many doctors and how many of these big-time diet experts have ever lost almost 600 pounds like I did, right? So it's like... And, you know, people, they're hur uh, heuristic creatures. What, what this means is that most people on average, and I learned this uh, when I was studying psychology, uh, is so, so most people, they're not interested in scientific facts. They might believe it to some degree, but if their neighbor or their friend comes and tells them a single story from one point of view, most people were, will give uh, way bigger emphasis to that single story than a hundred peer-reviewed scientific journals because it's more relatable it's more like flesh and bone type of thing most people will feel like they they've seen it with their own eyes right you've seen it, this with your own eyes uh and that's why uh this built-in proof element works so incredibly well 
So then the lead, the, the last part of the lead says the following. And best of all, I can show you how to do it fast. Oh, I, I said this actually, how to do it fast, very fast without spending hardly any money. Listen, my name is Larry Coker and not long ago, my weight was 70, uh, 750 pounds. I felt like a freak and I wanted to die. Three times my bed broke because I was so fat. I was only 18, but it seemed to me like my life was over. Every day, I rode the same clothes to high school. I had only one shirt, an extra large Mickey Mouse t-shirt that looked like a tent, and one huge pair of sweatpants with a size 74 inch waist. So we immediately get an introduction to the painful problem here, and this ad uses the classic problem agitation solution framework, but like, you know that you're dealing with Gary Halbert when the pain and agitation part is just so well written. It's so believable, so credible, so relatable to, to most people in the target audience, even people in not this target audience. Like I also felt like, wow, this guy was suffering so hard and, and, and I couldn't stop reading it. I got my wife to, to read it as well. And, and, and she also read the entire thing. And she's like, she has almost zero tolerance for these types of marketing things, but even she read it. And that's the hallmark of a great ad is that people will consume more of it. And as we've seen before on this channel, uh, the more they consume the ad, the more likely they are to convert. So notice that we're already mentioning some vivid details here with the story. Also, I like how this, there's this nice specific Mickey Mouse t-shirt uh, element. This just adds more believability. So then we uh, start dimensionalizing the problem itself. Uh, Clayton Makepeace talked a lot, a lot about this. I think he was one of the masters of it, uh, just uh, painting problems, uh, reminding people of their problems and uh, dimensionalizing it on how, how it looks like in their own life, like day-to-day -day lives, right? Because sometimes it's just most copywriters when they describe problems or even uh, desires, uh, they do it in a vacuum and they don't really talk about the real life implications of that. But check this out, how Gary Halbert wrote it. He says, I could only sleep on my back because if I slept on my side, my enormous weight would cut off circulation to my arm, leaving it white and painful. Each morning, my ha family had to help me out of bed by pulling and yanking for five minutes. Then my young younger brother put my socks and shoes on for me. I couldn't bend over that far. I couldn't climb stairs. I could hardly fit behind the steering wheel of my car and had no girlfriend. What girl would look twice at a grotesque slob like me? I was too ashamed of myself to ever have been my picture taken for the high school uh, yearbook. And after I graduated from high school, things went from bad to worse. So notice how we are really getting a vivid glimpse into the real life conditions of this guy, of uh, Larry Coker. So talk about a great way to really suck people into your story. And it's really needed because in any other case, people are going to be way more skeptical, right? They're super skeptical, especially in the weight loss market. Nowadays, even more skeptical because this was written in 1990. Think about it. So 31 years ago, since then, people have seen a lot of scammy offers. And this one, I would, it I think it would still do really well, but there would be a lot of compliance issues here. And you would have to add more testimonials and a few more other things. But uh, the, the, the whole reason why I wanted to cover this as the 100th episode is, um, is because I, I, I just like this whole story aspect uh, in, in the first part of, of the sales letter. That's it, to be honest. But the rest of it is good as well. Um, and by the way, if you enjoy this, if you're liking these types of things, then please smash the like button right now. It helps out a ton. It, ha it will help these videos reach more people who are interested in these things. Uh, and also, if you enjoyed this, then uh, make sure to share it with others as well because uh, you know there's not many of these uh, proven sales that are breakdowns out there, especially for free on YouTube. Uh, this is the only and the biggest library to my knowledge. And I, I, if you can help me spread the word, I can definitely appreciate it. So let's move forward with the story. So after I graduated from high school, things went from bad to worse. So now we're shifting, shifting into the agitation part. So we're agitating the problem. So Gary says, now I had no school to attend. I had no job and no future. I slept until noon every day just so I wouldn't have to deal with the pain of living as a freak. I was five feet seven, so not even that tall. 
uh, and weighed an estimated 750 pounds. The last time I found a scale that could weigh me, a truck scale, I weighed 643 pounds and I had gained at least 100 pounds since. So talk about like a nightmare story, right? And it's like, notice again, all the, all the vivid details, the punch in the gut style storytelling. My life was a mess. I tried a dozen diets, but couldn't stick to them. The more depressed I became about my weight, the more I ate and the fatter I got. Uh, that made me more depressed and I ate more. I was absolutely miserable. You may just as well die, I told myself. Face the facts, fatso, you're a loser. Really, really powerful stuff here, guys. Uh, it's not politically correct, that's for sure. And you me probably wouldn't be able to, uh, to get away with something like this before. A lot of people would be outraged. But, you know, th the reality is that this is what shocks people uh, in the target audience who, like, who are like uh, suffering from these issues. It shocks them. And it, 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 uh, it kind of... Uh, it's facing the truth, right? Uh, and uh, also another thing that's going on here that's gonna pay off later is that um, obviously most people in the target audience, they're not nearly as, as overweight as, as this guy, but um, Gary will capitalize on this by saying that, hey, you know, if it worked for me, my new method who had like 600 pounds, who was 600 pounds overweight, uh, it will certainly work for you if you're just like 50 pounds overweight, right? So does it make sense? Hope you do. So then we're still not out of the woods yet because we still have some agitation to do. Uh, at this point, uh, we're basically introducing the mechanism of the problem very briefly uh, by, by, by just, just describing how a day looked like uh, in the life of, I forgot his name, um, Larry. Okay, so Larry, in the name of, uh, in the day of Larry, how he ate 6,000 calories a day, uh, you know, all these specific nice things here, which all add credibility to the story itself. The specifics add believability, uh, it's relatable as well. And as I said a moment before, uh, this is kind of like the worst case scenario, okay? So if, if this worst case, uh, you know, was the case with Larry and he managed to solve it, it means that you as the reader will also be able to solve it. Plus, it makes people feel better about themselves because a lot of people have a lot of shame when it comes to being overweight. And uh, this is kind of like, I don't know, reality television where you have like Big Brother, where you have a bunch of misfits uh, in, in living together under cameras. As And the reason why, one of the principal reasons why people actually watch these shows is because they're going to feel better about themselves. Dan Kennedy talked a lot about these things, by the way. So um, then we actually get to the darkest hour, the nightmare story part itself by saying that um, my doctor warned me that at the rate I was going, I'd be dead by the age of 26 because my heart would not hold up. But I kept on eating. In December 1987, I resolved to quit stuffing myself on the New Year's Day and broke the resolution the same day. Oh God, help me, I prayed. Help me climb out of this fat body and be a real person. Very powerful. Uh, and then we shift to the, the sudden realization. This is a common part of any story, the sudden realization. So he says, and on the night of January 4th, after crying myself to sleep, I woke up at 10 a.m., uh, 2 a.m., and it was like something had snapped. I thought about all the diets I'd been on before and what was good and bad about them. Then I counted up the good points of each diet and used them to make my own, except I added a certain something. What I added was the missing ingredient that all fat people are looking for. I do not take credit for discovering this. It is just something that came to me that night, something so powerful that I w it woke me right out of my sleep. So probably not the most powerful transition ever, but it gets the job done. It kind of is like a, hey, I had a realization and then I discovered this secret. And I think this is actually a point where I think nowadays you could improve on this sales letter by uh, expanding this secret a little bit because here we just get a mention to it, like it's called Larry's Way. Uh, but, and, and, and this, this idea came from my wife actually who was reading this and she told me that, you know, she felt betrayed by this ad because the story was going great. You know, uh, she was definitely resonating with Larry and, and everything, but like, there's not not a, not a grain of content here. Like uh, we don't even uh, get like a like 
there's one secret and that's it. If you want it, you gotta buy the book, which is fine. I mean, that's the way how you get sales. But nowadays, and obviously if you had like more space to work with, because like, think about it, like Gary had to fit the entire ad on a single page like this. So if you were to do this on the internet, you would definitely expand this secret thing to like, you know, the, the secret is more complex. There's five parts to it. And here are two parts explained. But for the other three parts, which are crucial, you I, I've put together a free report for you that you got to like request that you're going to get for free if you do something else for me or something like that. Right. Because people need this more content here uh, and it might piss off some people, especially nowadays where people are used to getting information from Google whenever they type something in. Uh, they're just not used to synthesizing all that information. That's the hard part nowadays. Not to get the info, but to put the uh, relevant parts of that info into, into various places. That's the hard part. So I call it Larry's Way. Uh, so I have a personal name for this weight loss miracle. I call it Larry's Way. It works like crazy. Weight Watchers offered me a big salary, a car, and a new wardrobe if I would be a spokesman for them. But I won't. They may have a good program, but I believe my program is much better. And that's why I have uh, teamed up with the company in Florida that is letting me tell people how to lose weight exactly the same way I did. You know, to tell the truth, I believe my program is better than any other weight loss system ever designed, devised. Consider this. So uh, we have proof here. Uh, this this is all proof uh, and establishing this this Larry's program, Larry's way uh, of being superior to even Weight Watchers, even everywhere else. But if people start doubting it, well, here's the proof element. I lost. 575 pounds in 15 months. I lost 37 inches from my waist, 28 inches from my hips, and 22 inches from my tides. I even lost 9 inches from my neck. Wow. So uh, notice the specifics here uh, and the, di the, the dimensionalization. So, uh, you know, you never know where, like you have certain readers and if they struggle with weight, that weight gets added to certain parts of their bodies. So it never knows, you never know when, whether it's their waist, their hips, their thighs, their neck, something like that. But this adds, this qualifies people and uh, adds credibility as well. So then we get some more info, you know, that I've also been featured on the National Enquirer and everybody wants my diet. And now with your permission, which is a nice uh, intro here, we get, finally, we get the product reveal. And it says, you know, I put together, I want to send you a very special report called Larry's Way, the amazing weight loss secret of a man who lost 575 pounds in just 15 months. Like this is something that you cannot do on Facebook. I mean, these types of specifics, not at all. This special report tells it all. It's an easy to read and it's easy to understand and you don't have to pay a fortune to get it, right? So talk about um, making it seem like it's uh, it's like easy, simple, cheap. That's what people want. Fast, effective, easy. You know, these are the things that people actually desire, especially uh, with weight loss. And some people know that it's not possible, but they still dream about it because People who have weight problems in most cases, not in all cases, but in most cases, they obviously have some problems with willpower. They have problem with discipline, with disciplining themselves, right? Uh, they, they, they give in to their cravings, right? So how do you expect to sell them something that needs even more willpower, right? It's impossible. And that's why they, deep down in their hearts, they crave something which is easy. And it's cheap as well, so pretty cool, right? So then we have some more objection handling and proof saying that, you know, um, nobody could help me. Uh, but actually, uh, after discovering this, everybody started like uh, like reaching out to me and, uh, and asking me about my secret. But it's my personal mission to give it to you uh, at an affordable rate because I struggled so much. And hey, this is like the average Weight Watchers person pays $2,000 to lose 50 pounds uh, and nutrition system requires you to have like a big investment. But no, I want you to, I want to help you save money. So uh, basically, uh, Gary Halbert is, is, um, is discrediting other solutions here because at this point, naturally people would say, but can I do the same thing with Weight Watchers? or Richard Simmons or Optifast or Nutrisystem. Well, no, you can't because this one is cheaper and it's better. And uh, they wanted me to advertise them, but I wouldn't. I refused because I want you to save your money. 
uh, and in fact, all you need is, is the secret in my report, which you can get for almost nothing compared to all the other stuff. And here this, none of the other people or companies will do what I do, which is, and then we have, we, we kind of get introduced to another part of the, the irresistible side of the offer, which is the outrageous double guarantee. So we flat out say, uh, I will pay you double your money back if Larry's way does not work for you. So, uh, because at this point, a lot of people are like, wow, sounds in in incredible, but I just can't believe it. I just can't believe it that it w will work for me. Maybe you are some genetic freak. It wouldn't, won't work for me. Well, that's why we give them a double guarantee in which, you know, uh, if it doesn't work, if they try it and it doesn't work, they get double their money back. So it, it definitely communicates that uh, Gary is so, uh, I mean, Gary, but the, the face behind this, uh, Larry Coker, he's so incredibly um, confident in this that he's willing to give a double money back guarantee. Uh, and then, okay, I know what you're thinking. You're probably wondering how I can make such an offer, right? This is the reason why behind the guarantee itself. Uh, well, let me tell you something. I may be a young man, but I am not a fool. Maybe I'm not a doctor and maybe I don't have a college degree, but let me ask you this. How many doctors and how many of the other, how many of those big time diet experts have ever lost almost 600 pounds like I did, right? This is the ultimate proof element. I mentioned this before in the beginning of the video, but it's powerful, it's powerful. At this point, like you can't argue with this, right? Uh, and it, it silences people, people who have objections. They're like, yeah, I mean, I don't know of anyone who lost like 100 pounds, not like 600. So then we get the little uh, part which uh, kind of once again uh, like builds up the value and the uniqueness of Larry's way. I think it's a little bit too aggressive, especially nowadays. Uh, it says, listen, my way works. In fact, if it doesn't work, it will. You better see a doctor and get your thyroid checked. But don't kid yourself. It's not your thyroid. No. Your only problem is you are not using Larry's way. So I don't, don't, don't like this uh, sentence. Your only problem is that you're not using Larry's way. If you do use it, you'll get skinny and that's it, period. Now, let's suppose you order Larry's way and after reading my report, you decide you don't even want to try my secret. Well, in that case, you are very silly. <laughs> you are a very silly person, but even so, all you have to do is return it and I will send back 100% of what you paid. So, mm, it worked back then. Nowadays, I think with all the outrage culture that's happening, especially in the United States, uh, this would offend a lot of people. I think it wouldn't work that well. Maybe only if the brand itself, who like this was part of a bigger brand, who always like, who likes to shit on people, let's say. In that case, it would work, but I would definitely rewrite this part. But I like what's coming next because Gary Halbert included something that, like the following. Uh, and what happens if you do follow my plan and you don't lose all your excess weight? Personally, I think that is almost impossible, but if it should happen, I, wanted you, uh, I want you to get checked out by an MD. And if it says there's nothing wrong with you, I'll give you double your money back. So yeah, it's a, it's a little bit cheesy because yes, there's double money back guarantee, but you have to work for it. So probably nobody's gonna like ask for this guarantee, uh, but it's still good marketing to showcase this. Um, and then before we actually move into the closing copy here, there's one little uh, element here that I wanted to cover. It's, it's, it's a personal message. And I think this, is, this, this was my favorite part of the entire sales page here, the personal message. And uh, as I'm going to read it, you're going to see why. So uh, basically, it's, uh, it's a reason why behind the mission, the personal mission of Larry. And uh, it's, uh, it's basically, it builds so much trust and likability and relatability, uh, that is just crazy. So here, here it goes. A personal message. As I said elsewhere on this page, I am working with a company called Everett and Lloyd in Florida because they are letting me tell people how to lose weight exactly the same way I did. So there's the reason why. However, I still spend most of my time in my whole time of Royal Oak, Michigan, and my personal phone number is, boom, here's the number. Like he is willing to share his number, right? This builds a lot of trust. I am giving you this number just in case you want to talk with me after you order my program. You see, most weight loss programs don't work at all. 
However, mine works so fast, you may be a little uncomfortable with the reaction you get from other people. You know, everybody wants to lose weight, but when it happens really quickly, it can be a little unnerving. Anyway, and this is my favorite line of the entire sales letter. Anyway, if you need a friend to talk to after you get started out on my program, please feel free to give me a call. Believe me, my friend, I've been there. Wow, I'm getting goosebumps from this and cheers to Gary and to you guys as well. Uh, it's just so powerful. Like, talk about building relatability and, and making making uh, the reader feel like, you know, they are actually talking to a friend here. Like, this lowers their shame so much because a lot of people in this target audience with this pro uh, problem, they feel a lot of shame. And uh, this this is just so relatable and vulnerable. Uh, it's it's anti-corporate. It's as it is as anti-corporate as you can get. And I think this is the hallmark of great copy, especially in an email, for example, or a personality-driven business. People connect with people, even big CEOs, even Tim Cook of Apple connects with people, not with other companies. And this is the biggest mistake that so many B two B copywriters make is that they try to have this professional um, corporate voice, but People don't care about that. They care about real world relationships. And this is all a business of relationships. And that's why I wanted to include this specifically in this uh, review video, because um, if you can master this, not even master, but if you can use this uh, well, you're gonna see your entire life change because you'll be able to influence others, win more friends, make more sales, uh, persuade others to do many things that you want, uh, all it takes is be vulnerable, open up, be emotional, and connect with people emotionally because that's how they make decisions. So uh, with that being said, and then out of the way, we get into the closing copy here. It says, look, I'm trying to sell you as hard as I can on giving Larry's way a chance to help you because I believe, because believe me, I know how you are feeling if you are overweight. So again, notice the honesty and the reason why, like why am I, I'm shamelessly selling you because I want to help you, right? And after reading everything here, many people in the target audience will feel like, yes, Larry actually understands me. He went through this. He went through the extreme version of, of the problem that I have. So I got to give him credit. Uh, I know the embarrassment, the problems with clothes, the depression and everything else. Again, notice the dimensionalization here. Only uh, Gary only knew this from research, but but it takes a really good copywriter to really showcase all these these real life things how how it's happening with people in their like in real life but i'm telling you your problem is probably a very easy one compared to mine i don't mean to scoff at your weight problem but remember i couldn't even get out of bed and my doctor said i was going to die so this reminds them of their pain and the emotional side because here you know we went into the rational side a little bit and People still make decisions based on emotions and then they justify their decision with logic here. But uh, towards the end, and we've seen this before in many other sales uh, letter breakdowns, we, we, we kind of shift back into the emotional part from time to time because uh, we, we wanna remember, we wanna remind people of that pain point, of what's gonna happen if they don't take us up on this little thing. And there's also this element that I mentioned at the beginning that if it worked for me, it will certainly work for you too. So then the final part basically says, please let me help you. My secret system is very cheap and it is the final cure for your problem. A little too much of a promise, but yeah. Uh, look at those pictures of me again. I've lost 575 pounds and I'm looking forward to a whole new life. You can do it too and it's easy to order. Just use the order form at the bottom of this page. Sincerely, Larry Coker. So this is the personal ask plus the purpose motive, uh, you know, once again, and the call to action. And then the PS, it just adds a little bit of scarcity. So PS, if you are serious about losing weight, you should order my report today. I don't have too many of them left and I don't want you to have to wait while I get more printed up. Thank you. And then there you have the coupon. Uh, it's, uh, I like how, like this, this uh, first person driven, like tick box here, it says, yes, 
actually it's kind of like a, a, a monologue that we're, gi we're, we're uh, giving people and we're inserting this into their own internal dialogue and monologue. Uh, so it says, Dear Larry, yes, I want to lose weight as fast as humanly possible. Therefore, I want to try the rather amazing secret weight loss system called Larry's Way, which you use to lose 575 pounds in just 15 months. Please send me your special written report immediately by first class mail. I understand that when I follow your instructions, I will never be hungry, I will never need to count calories, I will never be depressed again because I can't lose weight. I will never have to spend more money to lose weight. I will never be low on energy. I will never feel empty. I will never have to worry about cheating. Um, maybe a little bit too aggressive. Again, nowadays, it would be probably too much. But back in the days, and especially based on the audience itself, because remember, a lot of these people, there, they have problems with uh, with making decisions, with doing something, with doubling down. So you got to be more, more direct with them in this regard. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, but I still like it in, in this context, at least because it's, uh, it's there to like, as people are reading this, they are going to internalize this and they're going to feel like it's their own internal voice who's saying this, not Gary, right? So you're really, it's a nin ninja type of trick. It's kind of like inception in real life, actually, but I like it. So people just cut this out, mail it back and they get the product, which actually costs, uh, 22.95. So indeed, it's not so um, not so uh, expensive. But notice, there's no mention of the features. Like I don't even know what this is. I don't even know if it's a book or a video course or something like that. Probably it's a book, but uh, nothing along the lines because people don't buy the product. They buy the promise. They buy the transformation, right? And I think Gary did an excellent job at conveying that transformation here. So yeah, uh, I just wanted to cover this in, in great detail. And uh, the, one of the other reasons why Gary became my favorite copywriter uh, throughout this challenge is because his writing is just so, so easy to read. It really sounds and feels and reads like a true conversation. Like there's no two ways around it. It sounds like a conversation. Uh, and uh, there were copies, uh, copy, samples from different great copywriters, by the way, that when I was reading them loud, it seemed off. Like I, I just had trouble reading it. It, it, it. it sounded weird to me a little bit. It sounded forced, but not this one. So uh, that's it. That's it with this one, the 100th episode. Uh, I'm kind of like <laughs> amazed that it's over. I'm sure going to be uh, breaking down more sales letters and email funnels and stuff like that eventually. Now I'm going to take a breather. Uh, but one important thing that I wanted to mention is that I'm also going to create like some shortcut versions of this because I do realize that how many people are going to watch all 100 videos? Probably nobody uh, unless they're like copy nuts like me. But people are interested in like the top 10 secrets of these copywriters or something like that. So I'm going to put together some sort of special report that you get can get for free. So I won't change any, any money for this or something. Uh, I'm probably going to ask an email uh, email address for it, uh, but, but that's it. Uh, and I'm going to like probably create a video or if you're on my list, uh, I'm going to send an email soon uh, asking for your help to help me figure out like what would give you the, mo the biggest value, the biggest uh, help when it comes to this. So I want to create like a checklist or something like that, that basically distills uh, all, the, all the, the, the best and biggest and, and the most important elements, only like 10 of them uh, that I learned over this 100 day challenge uh, and just distill it in something very, very easy, simple uh, and quickly to consume, right? So that you know, like what's the right way and what's the wrong way when it comes to copywriting. So if you have uh, any ideas at this point, make sure to leave a comment below, but uh, a better version would be to just subscribe to my email list and then you're going to email, you're going to get an email um, with, with, uh, with this, like a little questionnaire. Uh, all you have to do is just go to gameofconversions.com. I have several free mini courses on email copywriting, on YouTube ads, for example, uh, and subscribe to some one of them. And then you're going to get an email in a few days uh, just uh, asking for your opinion. How would you actually or what would you put in something like this? So I'm just going to come up with a few ideas and ask for your opinion. 
So yeah, uh, thanks again for being with me. Uh, if you're still watching this, you're awesome, man. Cheers to you. Cheers to us for doing this. And I hope that we're going to keep in touch. Uh, I'm probably also going to like host a Q&A type of thing. So leave a comment below, actually, if you'd like me to host a, a Q&A session in which you can ask me anything live on YouTube and I'm going to answer it. It can be regarding copywriting, marketing, persuasion, psychology, this challenge itself, business, anything. I'm just not sure how many people would be interested in this. So definitely leave a comment below right now if you're interested. And uh, I'll probably gonna, uh, if there's enough people interested in it, I'm probably gonna do it. If not, then no worries. So yeah, thanks again. Make sure to also like the video, subscribe to the channel, share this with others as well. And uh, thank you, my friend. Uh, see you soon.